What's going on YouTube? My name is John Hammond and this is a attempt <laughs> to showcase some of the Facebook CTF. Uh, this went on just this past weekend and uh, it was pretty rough. I got to admit, I am not going to do this any justice by attempting to showcase some of these. Um, I did not solve much at all really and it's over now but I wanted to at least bring to you one of the web challenges that was the products manager challenge so this uh, originally did not have a whole lot of solves but slowly got broken into and then it came down to have a lot of solves and its point value which was originally a thousand Facebook CTF had dynamic scoring so as more people solved it it would decrease in value and now it's down to a hundred which I think is the minimum that some of these can be uh, without being explicitly set less than that. You can see some of the miscellaneous categories. So uh, this is the challenge. Come play with our products manager application and we're given a link here. Problem does not require any brute force or scanning. We'll ban your team, etc. We have a download that I have actually went ahead and downloaded already. And this is the website. It says, welcome to products manager. We have some options here. We can the view the top five products, add your own product and the view details of their own product. So if I hit view, it just brings me to this page. So I'm assuming these are the products, Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Oculus Rift. Uh, we can add our own product, view. Okay, so we need to supply a secret to be able to view it. And the only way to do that, to supply one, is actually create one when we add it. So let's create a please subscribe product with password anything blah 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 looks like it needs to have 10 characters small uppercase number okay uh, please subscribe join discord whatever just test functionality there product's been added so if we were to view it view please subscribe with our secret it says please subscribe and join discord okay so looks like that's the minimum functionality this website has um, but we only get to see the top five results. Let's go ahead and take a look at the source code here. I have downloaded this tar gz file so we can extract it with tar xf I'm sorry xzvf doesn't really matter what order they're in as long as they're all there. X to extract, V for verbose which you don't need, F for the file and Z for uh, gunzip or gzip file. And so products manager that would have already extracted all it's in that dist directory. So we have some source code Let's take a look at all of these things. Looks like, let's start off at index. Acquire the database. It looks like it's pretty common throughout all of these. Then we get the top products. That's probably a function to find in there. Require the header for each of these products. It will display it, HTML entities, so we can't use any cross-site scripting stuff. And we have a footer. Um, the footer has nothing in it, really. Nothing dynamic. So the database, OK. Create a table products, that's the schema here. We have the name, secret, and description for each of the products. Looks like the Facebook row has the flag as its description, but we don't know the secret of any of these, and it looks like their store is a SHA-256 hash. Um, we have config, which we were not given. That's probably the credentials to the database, so that's fine. We don't need to see those. Get top products. List five results, receive them all and return them. Get product. This is some SQL select statement, so it's just going to grab the name of the description where the name is supplied as an argument. Insert product, inserts products via the name, secret description. That's got to be our add syntax. And they're using some bind parameters. So uh, it is not using just strings, concatenating SQL values. It is using some actual, like, Prepared statements is not the right word, but it's going ahead and actually use um, parameters that are, will be passed into and binded to the SQL statement. So prepared statement might be the actual right terminology. If anyone wants to spot check me, I'm grateful. Check name secret is a function that will take a name and a secret. Select where name is passed and secret is passed. And if they are equal, okay, if that's, if that's actually in the database, it will seemingly return to us. Okay, easy enough. Header doesn't do anything, nothing dynamic. Index view. View will 
take in what we supply to it. If you have the correct secret, we'll get products, HTML entities. So again, no cross-site scripting. I'm just trying to cursory get an idea for this again, and maybe again that will show you if you haven't already solved this. Just trying to showcase the discovery process, right? And then add will let us validate a secret. Okay, validate secret looks like it just is making sure that it is the correct criteria. Look, yeah, we ran into that earlier when we were testing and this function handle post. Looks like it will go ahead and get product name. If the product name already exists, please enter again. Insert product name hash blah blah blah. Okay. So if we were to add our own product, it's using get product and get product does name select Precious name. How does that do that? If product does not equal null, product name already exists, please enter again. Because what I'm thinking is if we could enter something, if we could retrieve, we, there's no way we can find out the secret to the Facebook uh, row or that product. So if we were to try and view Facebook, we just don't know what this thing actually is. Um, if there was a way we could trick SQL, maybe we could. I don't know. The only thing that's surrounding these, though, because they're parameterized, is not quotes or single quotes. No SQL injection is really an option, but maybe spaces, because that's being bound in here. Maybe that's what we can latch on to. If we add handle posts, if we were to supply something validate secret, we don't need to particularly care about, but if we get product, product name already exists, please enter again, otherwise we can insert a product. So get product, all that does is test where name is equal to something. Check errors, bind statement, so it adds the string in there. Check errors again after we execute it. Get results, fetch associative. So if it returns something, Name description. Hmm. Is that because the description isn't there? That it doesn't return anything? That must be it. So select name description from products where name is equal to something. If we were to add a little trick in there, like a space either at the beginning or the end, this would not return something. It would think that it would be perfectly fine. But then the space, if we were to view something, would work if we were to try to retrieve Facebook. So check name secret as the first function that runs actually has to verify by the name and the secret, get name from products where name is equal to what we pass in and secret is equal to what we pass in. However, after that happens, what they try and do is they try and run get product again, which only cares about the name and not the secret. So it doesn't matter if we have the correct name, it'll return the correct name because it'll be able to retrieve the description at that point because the Facebook, the real Facebook has a description, but the one that we add when we see get product ran the first time trying to add something, it won't have a description. So we'll be able to put in our, fa our fake Facebook entry. We'll be able to view it because of our secret and check name secret cares about secret, but get product, which should run following, does not care about the secret. Theoretically, right? Let's try it. Let's add something. And I'll put like Facebook with a space in the front. See if that works. And then I'll use whatever secret. And it doesn't matter what description we have. Product has been added. Okay, cool. And that didn't trigger 
because if we were to use regular Facebook without a space or whatever, that would tell me product name already exists because the description is in that field, and that's how it's retrieved. So that's super, oh, that's good. It's a super minute bug, super kind of hard to detect thing. Now if we review space Facebook, let's enter our secret in here. Let's see if this gets us the flag. No, okay. So let's try it again. Let's try Facebook with a space at the very end. Anything, blah, 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 add. Now let's view this Facebook space with our secret. Incorrect name or secret. Okay, maybe I had my typo. What? Okay, hang on. I think I it would make sense for me to not include the space at the end when I'm trying to view it, but the secret that I pass in still needs to be what I supplied, because that will validate and then with the get with the check name secret and then the get product will still return. There we go. Okay, so Facebook. And there's our flag. <laughs> Sweet blurb about Facebook, but there is our flag. So perfect. That's that. That's how to do it. Man, that was hard to detect and a little bit of agony. So uh, obviously it took me a little bit longer to do that in the real real end of things. And I, I still never entirely pieced it together, right? Uh, even with my dramatics there, doesn't. I'm trying to learn, but the, the spaces at the end, apparently SQL won't process uh, if it's a, at, at, at the very, very end of a select statement or something. That's that. That flag is, what did it say? Attacking SQL without injection is amazing. So yeah, because of those parameterized bind statements, we couldn't use classic single quotes or double quotes and common SQL injection, but our spaces were a fine trick and that get product name, not caring about the secret, but the check name secret does, that I think was uh, what put us over the edge and what were actually allowed us to take advantage of this. So, hey, if you guys did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to see you guys in the Discord server. There's a link in the description. It's an awesome community full of CTF players, programmers, hackers. And uh, if you'd be willing to support the channel, I have Patreon, PayPal, and I'm just grateful and thankful for whatever you guys are, are, are wanting to help with. So, thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next video.